Hey everybody, this is Khalif, Fat Guy Skinny Wallet, and I'm here to just give you a quick update on what's going on with me because I know that this week um, I posted a lot of videos that weren't telling you exactly what's going on with my uh, with my journey. All right, so where am I right now? Um, this week has been a hard week for me because I've had to skip pretty much all my workouts. I worked out on Saturday, and it's Friday, by the way, uh, right now. I think it's the 15th of March. The last workout was Saturday, um, where I killed it, by the way. Then, Sunday's my day off. Monday, I usually do cardio. And then, um, <clears throat> Tuesday, I do weights. Wednesday, just cardio. Thursday, weights. And when I do weights, I do cardio after as well. So, it's weights, cardio on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then, just cardio on Monday and Friday, I, my days off are usually Wednesday because the Renew show is Tuesday night and I'm usually up really late. And then uh, Sunday is another day off. So, normally, um, I work out at least five days a week and they're really intense. Well, if you remember from a few weeks ago, I hurt my back. So I haven't been able to do any of the intense cardio. I've only been able to do Tybo and I haven't been able to do it with a weighted vest on. So let me just finish telling you about this and I'll go into with my back. I've just been staying up really late and I don't know why. It's not anything that's happening on purpose. I mean, I'm getting to bed early and just can't fall asleep. So I don't know what that's about. And um, no, I haven't yet tried any of the you know natural sleep aids as far as um, you know being away from electronic devices eating cherries because they have melatonin or even taking uh, small amounts of melatonin like three milligrams or something like that I haven't done anything like that yet um, but I've noticed how getting to bed like 10 30 and I can't fall asleep until like 1 2 in the morning and I'm not able to, to wake up and do my workout so because of that um, I've just been feeling real sluggish this week and been dragging because I'm not getting any sleep and also I'm not getting these workouts in. So I've only been going through withdrawal with the workouts, but I'm also not getting sleep. If I was skipping my workouts and said this week I'm just gonna get 10 hours of sleep a night, I would be I would be perfectly fine with that. But that's not what's happening. I'm getting three hours of sleep and still not able to do my workouts. So anyway, last night I had a uh, I had a great night, so I did weights. And I was able to take the weights up in some on some of the uh, exercises. Um, stalled a little bit on my bench press, but still managed to uh, get through that. Um, then afterwards, my back was feeling okay. So I said, well, let me do one of the intense cardio workouts. So what I did on this DVD that I'll uh, talk about um, in a future video, do a review of it, they have an ab routine. So I said, you know what, let me ease back into it and do the ab routine. The ab routine killed me too. Um, but it wasn't as bad as some of the others, of course. But it's still, man, it was it was rough. But I did it. I felt great. Then I had a uh, meeting with one of my uh, business partners that lasted about an hour and a half, uh, something a little more than that. So that gave my body a little bit of a chance to cool down. Um, I got to eat my protein ice cream last night and also... Uh, had a protein shake with milk in it, which you guys know that I love doing that because the milk just gives it so much more uh, substance than just shaking it with water. So anyway, um, I just had a great night all around and I uh, woke up this morning and I knew that since I worked out late last night um, that I wouldn't work out this morning. But the great thing is, is that I felt a lot more rested by the time I went to sleep last night after my meeting. After the meeting, I went right into bed, which was another great thing. I didn't sit around on the computer and try to squeeze another article out or try to manage one of my websites and do things with it. I just went straight to bed. And, um, you know, I was able to get some good rest. I felt great this morning so far, waking up. And that's it. Just wanted to give you guys this update. I feel great. My back is fine this morning, so I don't think the workout did anything to kill it. So Saturday is going to be weights and cardio again, and I'm going to do one of these really intense cardio workouts. And if it's warm enough, I'm going to get out and run. Um, probably a short run, you know, maybe like maybe I'll do a 5K. Maybe I'll do 
a 5K just to see what my time will be. It'll be like a moderate pace, nothing too uh, fast. But, yeah, you know what? I just realized that I called a 5K a short run. I mean, that, and I don't mean that to belittle anybody who, who is working up to that. I'm just so, I'm just so amazed that I'm at the place physically where I never ran in my life and I couldn't run more than 30 feet without being completely out of breath. I couldn't jog that without being out of breath. And for me now to say, oh, I'm going to do a short run of, of 3.1 miles, that, you know, just, just is a miracle um, by itself. So anyway, maybe I'm just throwing that in there to just encourage everybody to say, hey, if you guys have any lofty goals, you know, start small, you'll get there eventually. And I never set out to say I wanted to run any of these distances. I just started adding running to my workouts. I took the whole winter off, so I'll let you guys know what I do. Um, if I'm able to go out Saturday, again, it may be too cold, and I don't run in the cold. I don't do that stuff, as you guys already know. But anyway, that's my update. That's how my week has been. And I hope to see you guys soon, and I hope that you guys are all doing what you need to do on your workouts as well. Take care.